It's time to show you how to create a PayPal account. Let's walk you through the entire process. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe right here to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. I also have a playlist that you don't want to miss. So watch this video through until the end so you can find the online money playlist where you'll find more videos like this on PayPal and more. You don't want to miss it because there are some bargains there. Now that we've got the introduction out of the way, let's show you how to create a PayPal account. Launch. Okay, so let's show you how to open your brand new PayPal account. We're going to use the PayPal application. So make sure to go to your App Store or Google Play Store to download the PayPal application to follow along. Right now, I'm going to open the PayPal app on my mobile device. It should give you this page if you're opening PayPal for the first time. You should see email and password, log in and sign up. We need to select sign up. That's the first thing we need to do. So now I've selected sign up, it's asking me for an email. So the email that I'm going to enter right now is what I will need access to when I'm signing up for PayPal because all of the emails associated with your PayPal account will be sent there. So make sure that you have access to the email that you enter at this stage. I'm going to enter the email that I want to use for this brand new PayPal account. Note, you cannot use an email twice. So make sure it's the first time you're signing up using this email. Once you've entered your email, you would then be asked for a phone number. Note, and this is a really important note because people struggle with this part, make sure your code is correct. So right here where it says plus four four, I'm going to tap it right now where it shows the Great British flag. When I tap this, you can see there are different country codes for your phone number. Make sure you get this part correct, otherwise you won't receive the text message that you will need in the next step. That's very vital, so make sure you have the correct one selected. I have the correct one selected and I'm going to enter my mobile number now. You should do the same and note there is also an example number showing you that you drop the zero of your mobile phone number. So if it starts with a zero, do not enter the zero and continue to enter the rest of your mobile phone number. Once you've done this, select next. You were then given a security prompt, checking that you are a human that is opening the PayPal account. Check the box. Of course, you then have a capture where it's asking you to solve the puzzle because it wants to check that you are a human that is creating the account. It says here, select all the images containing an animal jumping or in the air. So maybe this animal is doing a mid-air focus sequence. I can see one right here and another one right there. That's a little joke for those of you who have watched my gaming content. So now that I've selected the correct pictures, I'm going to tap verify at the bottom. On this next step, I'm going to be sent a code for me to enter. Now my mobile phone automatically allows me to enter the code that has been sent to the text message. That is a feature of the mobile phone that I am using. But if you do not see that text message, you will need to exit the app, go to your text message, find the code and then enter it accordingly. Now it's time to create your password and that's the next step. It says here you need eight to 20 characters. A character is a letter, number or symbol. So you can only have a minimum of eight. So make sure that your password has more than eight characters. You have to use one of the following letters or numbers or symbols. And you can see down below what it means by a symbol. So use at least one symbol to two symbols or a number at least. I'm going to enter my password now. If you're unsure if your password contains enough letters or symbols, you can see below where you've entered your password that you can have a green tick next to the thing that you need. The green tick is verifying that you have entered a password that contains what this needs. For example, use eight to 20 characters. You can see there's a green tick and then use two of the following letters or numbers. You can see there's a green tick. So if you're unsure, enter your password and wait for that green tick. If you don't have that green tick, then fill the information accordingly. 
remember your password and of course keep it safe. Once you've entered your password, select next. But do note, you can tap on that I next to where you have written your password and this will show your password. I'm not going to do this in this example. Now, of course, because I'm using a mobile phone device which can save my passwords to the cloud, I can choose to save my password to the cloud, which will make it easier for me to sign in. This is completely optional and depends on your mobile phone device. So you might not have this option. In this example, I'm going to save my password as it would be much easier for me to enter the application when I'm signing into this account again. Then I enter my personal information. It's going to ask me my nationality. Now this does not mean your heritage nationality, not where your family or your family originates from. It's asking where you are living and what is on your official identification. So if you are a citizen of the United States, then you would enter the United States. If you're a citizen of a country and it's on your identification that you use to ident identify yourself, then this is what you would enter as your nationality and country. Then you enter your first name, last name, and of course your date of birth. I'm going to do this now. Now PayPal, at this current moment in time, asks for your address. Do note, there are ways that you can get credit with PayPal. That's one of the reasons why you might be asked for your address, because you may go through some checks so that you can get a credit when you're making payments using the variety of payment options that PayPal has. So a credit is available. Pay in three is also available. Keep this in mind when you're entering your address as that may motivate you to enter this information because it can allow you to do a lot more with your PayPal account. I'm going to enter my address now. And of course, I will make sure I check those boxes where it says you agreed to PayPal's user agreement, privacy statement or rights right of withdrawal. I'm going to check this because I know roughly what these statements are, but you can double check these terms of agreements for you to sign up for your account by tapping on where it reads that blue writing. You can tap on PayPal's user agreement, privacy statement and right of withdrawal. In this example, I'm going to check the box and then I'm going to enter my address. You can also use the search function on your address, which can make it easier for you to enter that information. For example, right now I'm going to search for my address, but I won't be showing this in this video because it's of course data protection for myself and for my own privacy. If you cannot find your address by searching for it, you can tap add manually to enter your address yourself. You can confirm your fingerprint if you're using a mobile device similar to my own. I don't mind doing this because it makes signing in so much easier and I have Touch ID enabled on my mobile phone, which is the reason why I'm being asked for this now. I'm going to touch my fingerprint or thumbprint on my phone touchpad, and it will enable me to sign in using my thumbprint. Nice and easy. It says, glad you joined us. What would you like to do first? Shop. Speed through checkout with extra security and rewards. Send money. Send money quickly and securely to just about anyone, anywhere. Get paid, accept or request money for whatever you need. And if you scroll down, you can see browse, explore ways to take your money further with PayPal. I'm going to tap browse right now to have a look around. It says that I can link a credit or debit card, but do note in the top right hand corner, it says skip. So I don't need to add my credit or debit card to my PayPal account yet. I can open my account without adding this information. I'm going to tap skip in the top right hand corner. Create your username. Your username is how other PayPal users can find you. So make it understandable and easy to enter so that people can find you on PayPal quite easily if they decide to pay you or maybe request money from you or do any business with you through PayPal. These are things that you might want to consider when you're entering your username here. So for this example, because I want something different to any other usernames that I currently have with PayPal, I'm going to use something different to Anthony Allen. Keeping things nice and formal, my username for this account is Mr. Allen PayPal. And I've made sure to use a capital P on PAL with PayPal. I'm going to select continue 
And do you remember, sorry, I had to just mute that notification off the screen. It says, check your email. You need access to your email from time to time with your PayPal account. I've just been sent a confirmation code. I need to go to my email in order to enter the correct code. So the code will be sent to my email account. This is why I said earlier, make sure you have access to the email account that you enter. The code that's been sent to me is nice and easy. I'm going to enter this now. Now I have some more options and I can skip these options if I feel. It says turn on notifications. You can see I've just received a uh, uh, text message as well. It says turn on notifications, get the most out of PayPal. You can get account updates. Now some people don't like to have notifications pinging off on their mobile phone when they're new to a service. So you can turn the check mark off by tapping it. As you can see, I've just turned off account updates. You can get deals and promotions. Now I can tap this. And as you can see, it's also turned on account updates. Now I'm going to leave my account updates on and I'm also, actually no. Yeah, there we go, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave deals and promotions and I'm gonna turn account updates off. Or I might just turn them both on. Let's turn them both on. You can also skip this stage if you're unsure, like I was slightly indecisive just a second ago. You can tap on skip for now, but in my example, I'm going to tap save preferences. You can always change these preferences later on. Here, I have a mobile phone notification. So my mobile device is asking me if I want to enable these notifications. I'm going to tap allow, but remember you can turn these notifications off your mobile and receive them entirely through your email if you select don't allow. I'm going to tap allow because I want them on my mobile phone. It's then asking me if I want to sync my contacts. Syncing your contacts will be contacts in your mobile phone device. And then this makes it easier to send a PayPal link maybe to somebody who's in your mobile phone or send them money through PayPal or find their PayPal information so that you can do business or transactions with that person via PayPal because you have their phone number. Now I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here and it, actually you don't need to scroll down, it won't move. It says, find people to send money to faster, like I've just explained. Send money easier with contacts at your fingertips, at your fingertips, or know who you're sending to each time. I'm going to tap continue because I'm happy with that, but I'm not going to add my contacts for now. I'm going to tap don't allow. This stops that information going to my mobile phone contacts. But of course, vice versa, I won't be able to find their PayPal account either. So right now you can see, well, you can if you ask for it. So you can literally physically ask people if they've got PayPal and then use their username, for example. Right now I've just connected my PayPal account all up. It's all ready. And now I'm inside my personal PayPal account. I've created my PayPal account just right before your very eyes, nice and easy. And now you can see that I have home, crypto, send and request or the wallet. If I tap my wallet, it will show my PayPal balance. So those of you who are looking for your PayPal balance, tap wallet at the bottom of the application. You can also send and receive by tapping send and receive, of course. And it says help others find you quickly to pay, pay you or request money. Like I've just mentioned, I'm going to tap agree and continue, but you can also manage your preferences there. Now I've just saved my preferences for how people can find my PayPal account basically. And there's a lot more that you can do, including crypto. You can see the crypto right here. You remember to be safe when you're doing anything like that. And you have home. This PayPal account is now created. I'm going to tap on my profile icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. It shall show you some more information on my profile. You can see that I can invite friends. I can edit my username, add a display picture or a cover to my PayPal account. In the top right hand corner, when you're on the profile page, you can see notifications. So I have two notifications right now. Let's just tap on that notification bell in the top right hand corner. And it's PayPal talking to me, letting me know that I can get money more quickly. So it's just letting me know that I can transfer in minutes from PayPal directly to bank account. It's also saying shop more easily with PayPal where I can add a credit card to keep my finance details more secure when buying online. Because PayPal can make it more secure and safe for when you're paying online, that extra layer of security. And of course, you will not need to enter your credit or bank card details when you're paying with PayPal. If you add your credit bank or debit card to your PayPal account.
Now there's a lot more that you can do with your PayPal account so don't forget to stay tuned right here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. Share this video out immediately so it can help a lot more people get started with PayPal today. And if you have any questions at all, don't forget that I'm right here on YouTube in the comment section waiting for you. So there is questions that you may have at this point. If I can help you with them, then I will be there to help you. Or someone from this community that is a part of my channel might get in contact with you to help you with your PayPal account. Remember to be safe with everything. And of course, if you're unsure, double check with PayPal first because there is a helpline and help that you can find from PayPal. Thank you for watching this video right here from Anthony Allen. There's a lot more where this came from. I very much enjoyed making this. So let me know with that thumbs up. On screen right now, you should see some additional content, including that playlist that I promised to show you. That playlist is the online money playlist where you can find more videos like this. Thank you for watching and remember, launch.